YouTube, what's up? Back again for another daily fishing video here on Andrew Upshaw Fishing. First order of business. Getting ready to leave to go to the James River this morning. You know, the packing process was fast but slow. Uh, I only had like two days to really kind of clean my truck and boat out and reload it with the James River stuff or what I feel like I need. Pretty stressful. And on top of that, we're trying to move and all this stuff. So it's just kind of a crazy, crazy time here at the Upshaw household. Second order of business, congratulations to Jacob Wheeler winning the Bass Pro Tour event on Travis. I know he's not watching this. It has nothing to do with that. It's just the fact that I am proud of him. He literally won by two ounces. I was watching it. And uh, Bobby Lane caught like a two-pounder with like four minutes left or something like that. And he needed a two-pound, two-ouncer, and he, he just barely missed it. So, you know, it's just crazy how that, that worked out. But today's topic is picking the right jig trailer colors. You know, so... You'll see a lot of pros out there, and sometimes they have jigs with matching color trailers, and sometimes they have jigs with completely opposite color trailers on them. And today I'm going to break it down for you real easily and kind of give you a heads up on what I do for my jig colors based off color of water and conditions of what I'm dealing with. Make it super simple. and uh, But, you know, I kind of keep it extremely simple, actually. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, drop down and hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner. And... Real fast though, while we're kind of leading into this video, drop down the comment section and comment below what's your favorite jig color and what's your favorite jig trailer color. So I'd love to know, do you match them? Do you use opposite colors? Uh, like I said before, I learn from everybody, so I'd love to see what yours are. So I really hope you learn from this video and you like this video and it'll be coming right after this. Alright guys, today's topic of discussion is jig trailer colors in comparison to the jigs. So here we have just a structured jig with a rage bug. As you can tell, like you couldn't have matched that color any better. This is a blue crawl uh, structured jig with a watermelon moon dust um, rage bug. I mean it honestly is like about the closest colors you could come to. Um, and there are certain situations where I want my skirt color to match my jig, jig trailer color and then there's certain situations where i want them to be polar opposite so as you can tell here is a black solid black jig with a just super bright sapphire blue trailer so in certain situations i tend to go opposite so like are more contrasting colors so like where you go a really dark color or like one solid color on the jig and then a completely different color on the trailer Situations where I use the more, uh, I would say, more eye-catching difference of color like this would be, would be when the fish are starting to pull up in dirty water, pre-spawn, or maybe in certain situations where you get flooded bushes and you have a lot of bluegill. Uh, bluegill, as you, if you've ever caught a bluegill or a sunfish or a perch or any of those, you know they have a lot of different colors in them. None of them are ever just one solid color and that's it. Unless it's maybe a bull brim and even then they have two or three colors. Well, in those situations, I really like to mix and match my, my colors a lot. So like if I'm throwing, let's say a pumpkin pepper green skirt on my jig, I'll actually go to like a watermelon red or a green pumpkin orange or, you know, I'll make some funky adjustment. Even though it's in the same color palette, uh, kind of, it's still a little bit of contrast flake, a little contrast of color. In some cases, I'll do like a sapphire blue, like this color, on the back of a green pumpkin jig, depending on if the bluegill have a lot of blue into them. And this is, comes from like looking in the water, seeing what the bluegill look like, maybe if you catch one. I mean, basically every time I go fishing... I don't care if I'm throwing a bass bait. I typically catch at least one bluegill during my trip. And that really hones me in on what color I might need to be throwing if they're eating a bluegill. So that really will help you out. Crawfish are the same way. A lot of times on a rocky reservoir, you can go up and look in the water. And you're actually going to see those little baby crawfish. And sometimes you'll catch them. Sometimes you'll see pinchers coming out of the, the fish's throat. And you really have to pay attention to those little details. Because a lot of times they can clue you into the exact color trailer that you need to be flipping. Or casting in that situation. Maybe a football jig, same way. So, like, if you look at Bill Lowen, when he won at a Pickwick, he was flipping a black and blue jig with a sapphire blue trailer. And that's a big deal. Like, that contrast of color, is a lot of blue in it, but they like that. And, and there's certain situations where they do. Um, another a situation where you might use 
a contrasting colors like a black and blue jig with a green pumpkin trailer. Uh, it's something about how the crawfish looks in the water. Uh, some have darker shells and then lighter pinchers, and you really got to pay attention to s those situations. But in the situation where I'm using a matching color, like, I mean, true matching color, tends to be more in cleaner water. So if I'm fishing a football jig out deep and it's a really clear body of water, like a Lake Travis or Lake Amistad uh, or maybe even um, Lake Mead out, in, out west, you know, I might just throw a straight green pumpkin jig with a green pumpkin trailer and keep it super simple because those fish can see so well, I want it to look as natural as possible. So the so here's a really go, good rule of thumb. If the water's super clean, go as natural as possible. And the dirtier the water gets, the more wild you can get on your jig color. So you can go to maybe like a black and blue with an orange trailer or like a green pumpkin with a solid orange trailer or or in this case, a black and blue with a blue trailer, you're not going to typically fish this in clean water, really clear water. Uh, it's just not going to work. So that's when you're going to turn to a jig like this that looks and feels and everything like a bluegill or a crawfish, and that's what you're going to imitate. So if you keep that extremely simple when you're picking your jig trailers, you can really fine-tune and not carry a lot of crap with you. I mean, I, I'm the world's worst at carrying a lot of, a lot of junk. And, um, I mean, as you saw yesterday, whenever I was pulling all my stuff out of the boat, or out of the truck, I mean, I had piles and piles of baits, and I tend to do that sometimes, but at the end of the day, I still fish the same stuff all, almost all the time. So, you know, keep it simple. I try to keep it between about four colors of jigs. So, I, you know, I always have a black and blue jig or a solid black jig with a blue trailer. That's always a mainstay in my boat. The black and blue jig with a green pumpkin trailer is once again another one. A solid green pumpkin jig with a green pumpkin trailer. And and then I'll have like a brown and green pumpkin jig with a green pumpkin trailer. Those four jig colors is basically all I use. I mean, I'll use some others and I have some oddball ones. Like I have some that look like tilapia. I have some that look like bull brim. I have some that look like baby bluegill. I, you know, I have all that crap. But at the end of the day, you can, nine times out of ten, you can go to a body of water you've never been to before, pick up either a black and blue jig or a green pumpkin jig, and you're going to catch as many fish as you want. I mean, look at my win that I had at, at Lake Cumberland. I caught them on a jig, and that particular lake is extremely well known for jig fishing. And Bill Taylor, it used to be my old tournament director at FLW, his number one jig there was a booze bug. Uh, and it was a black and blue jig with a green pumpkin super chunk, the same chunk here. And um, I think that's called a super, that may not be a super chunk, that's just like a big chunk. Which one is it? Big salty chunk. So he uses the big salty chunk, the green pumpkin big salty chunk. But when I won there, I the water had cleaned up and where I was fishing was not dirty at all. And so I went supernatural. I went with this, the bitsy bug, uh, bitsy flip. That's the one I like a lot, but solid green pumpkin, solid green pumpkin trailer. I kept it natural because the water cleaned up considerably throughout the event. And I think that was a big key is me paying attention to that. Instead of just going with what everybody else throws, throwing that black and blue jig with green pumpkin trailer, I kind of changed it up and adjusted to the conditions. And I talk about that often as is really paying attention to conditions. And that was one of those situations where I paid attention to it. I made the adjustment on my jig, went to a very natural color, and it paid off big. I ended up getting the W there. So if you follow that simple rule of advice for picking jig trailers, I promise you guys the next time you're out there on the water, you're going to have a lot better day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a chance, like the video, share it with a friend, tell them what you think, and maybe even tell them to come subscribe as well. And once again, I hope you all enjoy this video, and I'll see you on the next one.